Greetings, I'm making a short video to augment a post that I'm putting on Hobby Machinist Forum regarding lubrication of the quick change gearbox. Uh, this is my Precision Matthews 1340 GT lathe. I bought it from Quality Machine Tools. I've got the front control panel removed from the lathe so I can get to the uh, oil distribution uh, chamber on the lathe. This lathe comes equipped with an oiling system whereby you remove this little plug and you squirt oil into that hole from time to time and it goes in on into the plenum there that uh, then distributes the oil through some ports and it oils a gearing. I'm going to remove this separator plate. Normally, the, again, the controls reside in this cavity and there is this plate that is there between them and the, uh, the, the oil plenum. So here, here's a shot of the plenum. I've been, by the way, I've been oiling this thing and testing it as I, so there's a lot of oil there already. Forgive me for that, but I'm trying to wrap this up and thought I'd do a quick video to show the action of this manifold. I want to thank my buddies Mark and David for helping me out with this project. They, they both have systems that do this as well, while theirs may be a little bit different than mine. Uh, conceptually, uh, they helped me tremendously in kind of sorting out what I thought that I wanted to do and give, give a try. So uh, thanks to David and Mark. Uh, this system uses a Trico one-shot pump. By the way, those pumps are available from uh, lots of sources. You can get them on uh, eBay, of course, that are made in Taiwan. I happened to run up on a Trico pump that was a, a, a good bargain, so that's why I've got that pump. So I put together this manifold. I want to show you how the uh, pumping action works. I'm going to give the lever one pull so that you can see the manifold uh, in action. So here we go. Sorry for the camera wiggle. The lever's pulled and I'm going to release it now. So you just see the oil being distributed. And so the way I did the uh, distributor, I wanted uh, a pipette for at least every two holes. Uh, importantly for me, the, what you see here is there's good distribution of the oil and there's plenty of it. One shot appears to be adequate. Uh, that is an 8cc pump, so that's relatively uh, large volume of oil and probably good enough for this, but uh, most likely I'll always give it two pumps to make sure oil's relatively cheap compared to the value of the machine. Uh, what's really important to me in the back right hand corner, you see those two ports. I believe those two ports oil the bearings to the lead screw here and to the apron feed shaft. And those bearings see tough duty, a lot of wear and tear, so it's really important that they get proper lubrication. One of my buddies had a little bit of trouble with this one because it somehow the, the port had gotten stopped up and there was an issue. So important that they get oiling. Uh, so again, that's uh, my approach. I hope that this little video and my post may help others that wish to do this up great. So best of luck to everyone. And here's one last shot of the pump in action. One, two, three. Thanks a million.